Come on, you gotta get this restroom. Okay. Honey, we're gonna go use the restroom. Son got in the Navy. Not gonna be a grunt like us. <laughs> Sounds like a smart one. Must have got it from his mom. going. I'll probably get three or four hours of sleep at night. I can't, I can't close my eyes too long because, uh, because I see them all again. You still see the men in your unit? I uh, keep reliving the same event over, over, over again. The dreams and, and flashbacks I have are still really, really vivid, really lucid. And sometimes it's really hard to differentiate between real life and, and what actually happened. Is your sergeant still main focus of your dreams? Should we speak of him today? I'm just not ready to, to deal with that part yet.
here. Kid trying to kill you. Because a 14 year old kid had gone, you know. I shot him in the face. And we were ambushed. I mean, he shot at us, and I shot at him. And when I went running up on him, uh, I rolled him over. In the in the dreams that I have, it's my it's my son. Uh, and I see that over and over and over. You know. Anyway. Why was I put in that situation? your family dealing with all of this? Um, well, they've, they've been really supportive, you know, the whole way. Um, we actually have a family counseling session tomorrow. Uh, just, this is my deal, you know, and they're the ones that have to live with it. They didn't do it. So Derek, it's been six months. Yeah. And last time we met, you went to a uh, family counseling session. Oh, that's right. How did that work out? Uh, not good, not good. Uh, I actually had an episode in the waiting room. Uh, but uh, since then, I've been able to get more sleep, and that's helped tremendously. And uh, things are looking up. So are you still at home? I actually moved out. Um, I, di I didn't want my uh, my family to deal with with stuff that's that's happening. So, uh, so I got to place my own. Derek, with your level of PTSD, to lead your support structure is very dangerous. Yeah. Um, I, I cannot and will not have my family deal with this. 
So, uh, so I spearheaded the problem and taken it on my own. Uh, with all the, the classes that I'm taking and, and the steps I'm going through, things are actually looking really, really good. So um, it's actually working out really, really well. I mean, there's a lot of hope now when there wasn't before. Now the state is starting a new pilot to rehabilitate prison inmates. Inmates with PTSD. Yes. I think you would be a candidate for this pilot project. Interesting. I'd be interested in that, for sure. Yeah.